my white whale. Oh, there she was. Jesus Christ! Look at an animal. Are you serious? Are you fucking crazy? Jesus Christ, you can't just take a shit in a car. I know, I'm sorry. Communion After Dark.
welcome to communion after dark this is the august 19th episode and this is winters i'm here with dj tom gold and dj paradise and you just heard my set and that last song that you heard is ante pole with jacob out of norway and this is the song walk with me which is featuring pedro code of i am the shadow Um, and this was sent to me, um, by Carl, uh, and Jacob is actually his son that's getting into the music. And I thought this was a really cool song. And of course, you know, Pedro's vocals. So it's really dreamy. So I wanted to end my set with that. The sixth song in my set is Brand New Crying Vessel. And this is a track Falling in Love with a Ghost. And it's a single that you can get on Bandcamp and they are on cold transmission music i love his voice um but yeah i hope you like it and the fifth song in my set brand new cold cave they dropped another single on the album that is up and coming in october called passion depression and of course they are on heartworm press uh, i thought this was a great song a little bit dancier than some of the others that have been dropped so far the fourth track we heard was brand new dead cool and they're from the U.S. with a song called Stranger Kind, and that's the Stabbing Westward remix. And that's a digital single that's self-released, so you can get that on Bandcamp. Yeah, I love what Chris did to uh, this track. It's a lot faster. Um, it's just it's interesting, um, his take on what he did with it. I like it. Winter's third in her set was by another band from the u.s this band is called amulet and amulet is or i'm sorry amulet has a new um uh, release out i believe or coming out a new album um but this is just a single looks like um so it's not an album <laughs> no this is a single that dropped there was a single that dropped as well um this week it was a little bit slower um and I just, I liked what um, Daniel did with this. This remix is nice. Yeah, well, the song's called For Your Love. It's a Static Perfection remix. So that's uh, pretty cool. And it's a single again on Distortion Productions. So you go give them some love. Uh, both Amulet and Dead Cool will be um, playing at Absolution Fest this year in Tampa in October. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. I, mean, I know Amulet also has a brand new album coming out soon, so I don't... I, that's why I was confused. I apologize. All right. The second song in my set is uh, Ashbury Heights out of Sweden. And this is the song Lights Out. And this is on Ghost House Sessions Volume 1 that came out on Out of Line. Um, I'm very hit or miss, and this is just me personally. I'm very hit or miss. I'm being honest. When it comes to Ashbury Heights, sometimes it's way too poppy for me. Um, just my taste. And this is one of my favorite newer tracks that are on it. Um, because I really like the lyrics. So, mm. I hope you like it. And the first song that I started off with is Alien Air. Um, I was introduced to this band by Gold when he started playing it on the show. Uh, this is their new album, Lumen. If you don't have it, get it. And this is the song Light of Love, also featuring a set of perfection. Daniel's getting a lot of love in this show. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> and that came out on <laughs> No Cut Records. Daniel better share this show. Hopefully. A lot, a lot, a lot of aesthetic perfection <laughs> mentions on this one. All right, there's Winter Set. Yay! Heresy, you're not a big Ashbury Heights fan. No. I love their first album. I seriously love, love, loved it. I could dance to the whole thing. And then there were like some albums, you know, in between where I'd only like one or one song maybe or two songs maybe. It wasn't a playthrough like that first album was for me. It's all. Mm, so. Okay. Well, every music is subjective. So we mm-hmm. always remember that. Um, all right. We're going to do our shot of the week. Grab your shot at home and do it with us. Shot of the week time in honor of all of our supporters and donators and commenters. Look at this I, shot glass, man. This is a real shot glass. That just looks like a drink. 
And it's then good. It's a big one. Tom's got his utterly cool, and I've got my little Ouija in honor of Halloween coming up. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Now drink your drink. Mm. Oh, holy cow. That was a big one. I had a pickle shot. Judge me if you want. They're my favorite. Uh, what'd you have, Tom? You know, you know how that, I had some uh, wine we picked up that's really good. It's uh, from Mount Edna in Italy, and it's uh, grown at the base of a vo volcano. So oh, wow. Yeah, have you guys Fancy. tried? Have you tried the mead that I gave Megan for you guys? I think that's been long gone. Oh, okay. I wanted <sighs> to know if you guys liked that. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, the bottle's gone. And I had a uh, shot with chocolate, butterscotch, and banana. So good. You and the chocolate banana stuff. That was really good. It was chocolate liqueur, butterscotch liqueur, and um, or butterscotch schnapps, I should say, and, that just um, sounds and so banana sweet. liqueur. It was not. It was very tasty. See, that's why you should be over here recording every once in a while so you can actually have some good shots. So drinking the pickle and tequila every week. Uh, I don't shot. normally really do shots. I mean, I do shots for the show. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> Not I like know. a big, like, hey, let me do a shot of, you know. And yeah. gold, what was that? You drink wine or beer? Yeah, no, it's a wine. Oh, it's wine. a very fancy wine. Well, fancy it's, wine. It was, it was fancy where it came from, but it, uh, it was, it was, it was pretty good. We, it was from a wine tasting we went to. So Megan bought a bottle of it. Nice. All right. Nice. All right. We're going to do um, read our donations now for the week. Thank you all again who st have stuck with us. Uh, monthly donors, we appreciate you. James Trimarco, Jens R. Munson, Dennis and Kane, Andrew Bateman, Nature of Warriors, Mark Steele, Mr. Nobody, David Munoz, Chelsea Carr, Stephen Weimer, Paul Mello, Paul Paulo Mello, Terrific Trades, Stephanie Roper, Jan Rolf Zimmerman, DJ Vegan and Black, Paul Crouch, David Montoya, uh, Autumn Webster, Elizabeth Plastino, Paul Brian, Dark Lord of Serpents, Thorsten Sendler, Max Cole, Jorge Marquin, Chris Cantlin, Neil McCombie, and Edgar Martinez. You're all awesome. Thank you very, very much for being monthly Thank donors. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we did get some one-time donations this week, which were... It's fantastic. Thank you so much for the people who've been doing that the last couple of weeks. Two from Germany. One from Henning Vessel. I would assume that's how you say the last name, but if I'm wrong, I apologize. Said, here it is, my promised donation. Best regards from Germany. Um, Sylvia Casa said, really like your work. Please keep on sending our great music. Have been missing you in uh, Cologne Amphi Festival. Cheers, Sylvia from Germany. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank uh, yes, you. we have not been to Amphi, unfortunately. Uh, maybe someday. That would be really cool. Tom, have and you been? No. 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 No, never been to Amphi. Be cool, though, to go there and, and meet some people and uh, see the bands. Um, and then um, Misty Publications, also Susan, who is Susan, from Indiana. Uh, Susan is awesome and been a longtime listener to our show. Susan said, your show on repeat in my soul. I owe you. Keep killing it. Thank you so much, Susan. And um, check out her work as Misty Publications. Nice. Yes. Thank you. All right. I got music coming. So come back and listen. Wouldn't they listen before they come back? Come back and listen? <laughs> no, after the talking, right? Come back and I don't I don't know. This is Maniac Dark Radio and you are listening to DJ Paradise.
right, welcome back to Communion After Dark. I'm Paradise, by the way. You just heard my set. The last band you heard was a band out of Switzerland called Outsize. Um, they have a new single out, or he has a new single out, I should say. I believe it's a one-man project. Um, the song's called Fry. It's a digital single on Deep Machinery Records. I've always been a fan of Outsize synth-pop style music, if you like it. That um, if you've heard his stuff in the past, you know, and then I think you will be happy with this. Some good remixes on there too. Um, Spectralized remixes track, uh, Kim Lunner remixes track as well. So there's some definitely some cool remixes uh, of the track. I did play the original because um, it hasn't been played on the show before, and I wanted to you know, get that out there so you, so you can hear what it sounds like. But yes, I love uh, love always love Outsize. So good good band or good artist. Sixth track was by She Hates Emotions out of Germany, which is uh, Chris Pohl's Wave project that he does. He has a new song out called Dirty Little Secrets. It's a digital single on Out of Line Music. He has a brand new album coming out on Out of Line. So if you're a fan of She Hates Emotions, I believe that's coming out in like another week, if I'm not mistaken. Two weeks at most. But uh, yeah, check that out. Again, he has a brand new full length album coming out for that project. Fifth track in my set was by Matt, or M slash A slash T, out of Germany. The song Augenblick. Uh, it's a digital single. You can pick that up again and, uh, through, uh, I believe it's uh, more, I believe it's through like the uh, streaming services like Apple and stuff. I haven't found them on Bandcamp, but um, very high in the DAC charts right now, this track. I believe it's number two at the moment. So yeah, check out. It's good stuff. I think one other song by that band. Uh, a couple months back and I, I've enjoyed what I've heard so far from that project alright the fourth song that Paradise played is Chemical Sweet Kid out of France and this is Live Fast Die Fast it's the Baderhead remix and that is a digital single that you can get on Tree Soul and Apple Music yeah France you love France Winters I do. I like a lot of the music that comes out of France. When I'm in my 80s, my plan is to sell where I live right now because we're on kind of a sizey property and move to France. There you go. Kind of our thing. We're going to retire in France. French fries. A lot of French <laughs> fries. And you can all the f you want when you move to France. We're going to eat French fries. And France. <laughs> <laughs> the third track we heard was by, I don't know if this is pronounced with a V or, or W. I think a V. Wisborg, it, um, Wisborg, Wisborg or Wisborg? It is Wisborg. I don't know. It's yeah, Wisborg, Wisborg, right? Song from like, yeah. Germany and mm -hmm. the song is called Untermension featuring J. Tame J. Tame or J. Tame? J. Tame. J. Tame. And that's the Beyond Border remix and that's a digital single out on Dance Cobb Records. Oh, wow. So is J. Tame singing in it? Uh, yeah, I was on the, that was uh, that that band has been releasing a large amount of their well they had an album out and then they've been putting out the singles with remixes by bands since that time and that was a track that was on the uh, album with Jatam or Jatam or Jatam Jatam he's got very Robert yeah. Smith esque awesome vocals so mm. and I can't resist a Beyond Border anything Beyond Border is one of my favorite artists obviously so. Always good stuff. Um, second track is Nordica out of Mexico. Nordica has this has been out previously on their album Ragnarok. The song is called Lost Generation. It features Henrik Iverson, who is the uh, singer of Nam Nam Bulu. And um, Henrik, uh, you know, had done his vocals, great track, but they've, they put out a single recently, or it's like a three track single, and they have some new mixes of it. I played the final version of that uh, track. It's a digital single that's out now on Aqua Rec Records. So go check it out if you like the song. Again, there's some new mixes of it. It's uh, worth uh, buying. Funny it's just story such a about song. Nam Nam Bulu. So like back in the early 2000s when it was always getting played at the club and everything, Derek Burke, he, he was a regular at the castle, but... It was back when we had answering machines, like phone lines, like not cell phones. 
And he called and left me a message on my answering machine. He's like, come to the club and we're going to dance to Nam Nam Bula, Nam Nam Bulu. And like every time I hear the name of the band, like I just think of that, that answering machine message that I used to play over and over again. Yeah, let's see. It brings back some good memories. <laughs> and I started off with Escape with Romeo out of Germany. Um, I thought this band had decided to quit because um, I believe that I read that a while back. But they're back with a new single, and I love this new song. It's called Evil Renegade, digital single on Zeit Klang. So go check it out if you're a fan. Very dancey. Um, yeah, very odd. It's just a great new single. And there's a second... Um, track on there as well it's a two-track single so, so didn't escape with romeo was releasing um several singles over the last couple years and then i saw something drop that has like all the singles together so is this outside of that this is new okay because they had said they were they were done as a band i read yeah that, but uh, then they started back. dropping all of these like kind of random singles because you know me, I like Escape with Romeo. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, this is new. <laughs> this is a new single that they just um, put out. They said it's brand new. So uh, yeah, it's good, good stuff. Again, if you're a fan, I think you'll really enjoy this track. All right. Well, um, what are we we got some comments to read. Yeah. Read some that's... comments. Let's read them. Comments. Uh, these are from YouTube, and I wanted to read uh, a few as well from Mixcloud, if you don't mind, Winters. Uh, but I'll, I'll read the, um, we can, maybe we can read the Mixcloud ones on our next uh, set. Uh, but the um, YouTube ones, we got a large amount of love last week, and I really appreciate it. Again, um, I do think that uh, it's a, it was a fantastic show. DJ Griffin uh, joined us. It was, you know, kind of an AI video that he sent us, which I thought was really cool. But DJ Griffin, if you watch, if you haven't listened, go listen to it. He explains a lot of what happened to him. But he had a stroke many, what was it, about eight years ago now, right? Almost eight mm -hmm. years ago. Or six, was it? Yeah, about eight years ago. Yeah, and he's I mean, just it was been... 2016. And I so only eight, know yeah. that because I switched positions at my job. I was brand new in a position at my job, and I had to leave to take off because mm -hmm. it happened. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So it was, it was almost eight years ago. Because uh, it was in October that that happened to him. But yes, a large amount of love. And I pre I'm i glad that people really got something out of that show. And it's uh, uh, I know he did too. Because I saw he was replying to everybody on YouTube. It was really cool. Anyway, so this was from Death Mission, Who said DJ Griffin inspiring. Uh, very nice. Uh, NXLA666 said, I lost my mom and sister to Strokes. Uh, may Griffin's ongoing recovery be both smooth and as complete as possible. Uh, thank you, and we send your, our love to you. Uh, I mean, that sounds like a very, very difficult situation you've gone through, but thank you very much for comment and sharing that with us. Uh, Evil Grins said, great to hear from Griffin again, and glad to hear he is doing good. Lord of the Wolves said, love oh, my God. Name. Yeah. <laughs> love said, it. Oh, Oh my goth asphyxia. I love this song and album. It was such a banger over 15 years ago. Thank you so much. Uh, Griffin did throw in a couple of older tracks in his set, which but that's people a reminder. really seem to enjoy. Like mm -hmm. that, that him playing that was like a reminder of, of so many bands that don't exist anymore that made right. really good music. Yep. That's true. And another user, uh, which along with the long name said, the selection is great. You guys are the best. Uh, Kismet685 said, as always, I love the show. And I was so touched and inspired by DJ Griffin's commitment to healing and recovery. So it was very, very kind of you. Uh, all of you are fantastic for um, listening and you know, sharing your love for Griffin. All right. Uh, Winter is going to read some comments in the next set. So we can get to music again for her and then she'll read her comment. But let's go to Winter's set first uh, so you can get some more music in. How about we go to Gold? But I would like to oh, who, Gold. Oh, who's ever next? Yeah, Gold. I apologize. Gold's <laughs> next. We, we thought Gold already played. Or I did. Gold. Mark's been drinking too much. <laughs> no, I just am not looking at the playlist right now. And my memory is bad. Real bad. All right. So Gold, come back Gold for music. Next. Thank you. 
Techniker in den Kommandostellen warteten auf den letzten Befehl. Den Befehl, der das Ende der Welt einläuten würde. Das Ende der Welt.
welcome back to Comedian After Dark. I'm DJ Tom. You just heard my set, and the last track you heard was by <clears throat> Andreas Davids and Sven Flax from Germany with a song called Dib Dib Dritte Mach. And that's a self-titled EP you can get on Infected Recordings. Really good. Yeah, the long version is really good. Fifth track you heard was by Super Dragon Punch from Belgium, and I played a track called Gloom from their latest latest receipt, Thorns, and you can get that on Bandcamp. All right, the fourth song in DJ Tom Gold's set is Urban Heat out of the U.S., and this is Take It to Your Grave, and, and this is on the album that just released this past weekend, The Tower, that is on Artifact Records. Um, I love this up-and-coming project. He's amazing. Uh, they're amazing if you've ever seen them or have the chance to see them. Go do it. Support them. All right. The third track in Gold Cell was by Beyond Obsession out of Germany. Synth Pop Project has a new single out called Sweetest Caroline. It's a digital single you can pick up through Bandcamp. Uh, I, I believe that is that self-released, I'm assuming. Yep self-released so yeah go check it out uh so, they always plug good synth pop music so is that like a play on words like you know sweet caroline bam 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 no i wish uh, <laughs> but if you ever have a chance to go see him live they put on a fantastic show yeah okay it just seems like it's you know that whole thing that's what i was thinking too but all right the second track we I played was by Spank the Nun from the US and they played a track called Toxic featuring Eva X on guest vocals. It's a digital single on Bandcamp. A couple remixes on there including Morse Black. And then I started off with the Dark Siders featuring Aesthetic Perfection and the track was called Immortal and that's a digital single you can get on Audio Rotica Records. More Aesthetic Perfection. Holy I Mother know. of God. Shit balls. That's all three of his releases he's been tallying this week. All right, Daniel. Sure. But sure. That, that also goes to show you that Daniel's been working his ass off because he's doing lots of things with other people, but then he's also still, you know, creating his own music. Yeah. And sure. Touring with Tol- and to- and to- uh, touring with Toe Linderman on top of everything. Exactly. So. Very cool. All right. Well, yeah, Daniel <laughs> puts in a lot of hard work. There's no doubt about mm-hmm. that. All right, now we're going to do, um, oh, comments. Yeah, more comments. I also want to mention real quick before Winters reads some comments here uh, that Lady Tron will be in concert um, the 27th of August. Please come out and support that show. You should be, uh, it's at the Orpheum. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's at the Orpheum. So if you can come out and support a fantastic a project, I'm so excited to have them back in Tampa. It's coming up. And then also Front 242, do not miss it. They're one of their last uh, tours. They, I believe they are coming back to the United States in um, November. They will not be in the South. So this is it for the South. If you want to see them September 6th, come out and support. Don't miss that show. It's going to be so good. I cannot wait for that show. No, I'm going to be in a VIP area. Yeah, because I'm old and I need the AC. It's really the only reason for it. It's gonna be fun, fun, fun. All, All right. right, go ahead. I'm reading some comments. Uh, this is from David Munoz. Uh, thanks again for an awesome set list, especially uh, uploaded on Monday. I could list my favorites, but that would be like three tracks in each set. After having n- a not so nice weekend, I'm sorry. Uh, this really helped. I sincerely applaud DJ Griffin, his efforts, and his set list kicked ass. It really did. It was very enjoyable to listen to. I love hard music. Uh, without getting into too much detail, several members of my family have had strokes. I'm sorry. Ranging from mild to life ending. It's a difficult... It, is difficult to say the least especially for those directly impacted so my hat off the dj griffin and his daily efforts and thanks again cad crew for putting a smile on my face much love guys i'm so sorry for all the the stuff that you've gone through but um i'm glad that we can help with music and then rick newman 
said, amazing show again. Great tracks I like from all of you. As usual, very emotional and cool to hear from Griffin and also hearing about the personal history of those older tracks and some cad lore was awesome. And then Judge Damage said, another week, another great show. Thanks for all your effort. Thank you. And he put a little kangaroo and a cat. So I think he's from Australia. <laughs> and uh, Cat Catwoman in Paradise. Uh, holy Griffin. This week's show is filled with fun, the best music in the game, and strong emotion. I love that as always. Much appreciated. All you guys are part of Cat. Thank you, Cat. And then Ashley Turner Smashley. I swear yeah. that just that just makes me think of like Ashy Slashy from you know Evil Dead and you know okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, my heart is so happy to have DJ Griffin back. It's inspiring to hear how his recovery is going and good reminder how lucky we are to be here vibing these good tunes together. To Griffin's recovery and to the collective health and well-being of the CAD community and the community at large. I love that comment, Ashley Turner Smashley. And if it didn't have anything to do with Evil Dead, I'm sorry. It just brought my brain there because I'm a nerd. Hey, let's, um, we'll read this, some more comments since we got a bunch more. I mean, this is our comment show. <laughs> um, but let's let, let's let Gold play his last song, uh, so we can get the, the last song in. Well, what's your uh, last song? Uh, last song is by Imperion with a song called Breakneck Beats. And this is the Rob Dust remix from their brand new remix album called Beats from the Underworld, the remixes. You can get it on Bandcamp. All right, come back for more listener comments, please. We will see you on the other side.
welcome back. That was Gold's last song, uh, which was Imperion. Uh, so cool. Check it out. Rob Dust is back again. He's killing it. Rob Dust. Least Lycia said, uh, Anti Ordinary was the first Ashbury Heights song. This is Mixed Cloud, by the way. I heard in 2012, I think, when I started using Spotify. Have you played Ali X on the show? Maybe you have or have not. New album is really good. Well, thank you, Lucia. We'll check that out. And yes, uh, that was an old, like I said last week, we played that Anti Ordinary Sun by Ashbury Heights, which I think is just awesome. Yeah, but that's an updated version. And like I think I mentioned that it was originally a song that had been released much or earlier in their um, history. But yeah, thank you again for listening um, and, and uh, commenting. Pez, I believe that's how you say that. And if I said it wrong, I apologize. Said, so very awesome that Bryant got a set. There were two bands I was expecting from his set, Faderhead and Mind in a Box. I was not disappointed. Keep up the recovery. The wife and I have been rooting for you since it happened. I hope you do more sets in the future. And the good news is that Griffin, I think he was inspired by this whole, by the show in general, just by the, all the love that's come out from the show. Um, he's interested in definitely coming back. So that's awesome. And um, hey, you know, if he wants, whatever he wants to do, we're happy because, um, again, he was the only, you know, he was the main reason this show started. So, uh, you know, and uh, we appreciate him you know, putting his uh, effort into uh, actually putting together sets again. That's really cool. It's been a long time. Michael Griffin, who said no known relation to DJ Griffin, <laughs> but I congratulate him and wish him well anyway. Thank you, uh, Michael. Uh, and Aaron Wallach said much love to DJ Griffin. Welcome back. Want more of you? Well, like as I mentioned, well, you should be getting more of him here in the near future, hopefully. And now uh, Winters has got um, a few more comments. I do. These are, um, we couldn't read them all. There were so many this week. Um, apparently, you know, a lot of people have been affected by strokes. I mean, just recently we were affected with DJ Tom Gold and That's his right. recovery. He worked hard at it and recovered um, quickly from that. Um, and so I've got Jukebox Gothic. I had a heart attack nine years ago and open heart surgery. My recovery was an absolute cakewalk compared to Griffin. I hope you keep strong and good luck with your recovery. Also, Craftwork is my mom's favorite band. I love that you said mom's. I love it. <laughs> I haven't been able to listen to them since she passed, but that was nice. Thank you. Her favorite song was Neon Lights. That is a great That's craft awesome. Work is just amazing, though. Very, very nice Thank comment. You. Thank you so much. And for I'm glad that. that you recovered from all of that because open heart surgery, the whole cracking of the ribs and the sternum, and that's a lot to recover from. So kudos to you for doing that. And uh, I think what we've got. Alice Luna. Uh, 13 Beards. It was great to hear from DJ Griffin. I love the history behind this set to hear how technology has helped his recovery. A few years ago, my father had a brain disease, viral encephalitis. I actually said that right, guys. And wow. had to relearn a lot of things. Had to relearn how to do a lot of things. Brain injuries are tough, complex, and unique to each individual. I hope that you continue to improve and make progress. And I hope your dad's okay. Yes, and, for sure. And then we had one... Um, Alice Luna, uh, this episode really lit, definitely made up for my car bursting into flames as I was oh, on no. my way to work today. Oh, I feel That's so bad. Horrible. I'm so That's sad horrible. for you. Like, I'm sorry that. I don't know. Like, yeah. I'm not, sh horrible. not sure. Show <laughs> makes up for your car bursting into flames, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. We hope we hope you're at least everybody's okay. That's 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 the that's the I guess the most important thing. But we're sorry about your car. That's for sure. So we had a lot of comments this week about everybody affected by strokes. It's I feel like strokes and 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 aneurysms and everything are becoming more common in society. Um, and it's just based on the person, I guess, how they recover. Because I know when it happened to Gold, he pushed himself really hard. 
to get out there and and walk. Yeah, it also, and it also that's depends. all you can do is just push and per right. persevere. Yeah, and it also it depends, depends on what side, right. where where it happens. What what happens to your mm -hmm. brain? What side of the brain it happens to? Like like unfortunately for Griffin is the side of the brain that he ended up uh well you know and and, and we're not going to go into griffin's story because we know it and it's 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 pretty crazy what happened to i him, was but. there and i'm well just I'm the a, amount of time remember i'm astonished because if anybody yeah. saw the brain scan that i saw mm -hmm. when it happened i didn't i never thought that we would even be um yeah. communicating with him so it's amazing what he's been doing and the recovery right. is amazing so. Like he said on the show, it affected his uh, what speech. He said his. I mean, basically everything that we take for granted on a daily basis. So, um, you know, it's just, it's just uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, old is back, and so uh, we thank everybody else who's been you know through it and they shared their stories with us. It's fantastic. It means and a lot. Comment anybody that went to go see Alien this weekend. I want your comments. I want to know what you think about the movie. What do you think about the merchandise? Because you know I'm going to see it. Gold's going to see it. Paradise is going to see it. Let us know what you think about the new Alien movie. One of those iconic franchises that are just amazing. I'm excited. That's true. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Good point, uh, Winters. All right, man. Yeah, well, maybe we can talk more about Alien uh, next week. Because, uh, you know, by that time, we'll actually have seen the show. We'll all have seen or the it. movie. I'm sorry, the movie. I apologize. Yeah. The movie. Uh, so, all right, sounds good. Um, we're done for this week. We hope you enjoyed the music. Uh, please spread the word about the show. And yes, we are putting up the show now on Mondays. We're not messing around with uh, different days of the week anymore. So just we check it out on Mondays. No, no, not really. <laughs> so it goes up on all the platforms on Mondays. All right, see you. Right, bye. Have an amazing bye. week. Take care. Will someone turn off that music? That's enough. I'm putting an end to this freak show right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>